it's Marissa from Marissa Mom. If you are new, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. We are doing 12 days of Vlogmas and I'm only on day three and I'm already stressed. Today, I want to show you the Christmas gifts that we got for Elijah. Uh, the most expensive gift we got was about $40. So everything else is under $40, which makes it more affordable. And they seem to be good gift options for a five-year-old. At the end of the video, I'm also going to show you one gift that I got to Vaughn. I'm only going to show it to you because he knows what it is. I got really excited and told him, but the other guest he doesn't know about. Most of the presents are wrapped already because I had to wrap them pretty quickly. He follows me everywhere, so I can't just like hide them. And in our closet, <laughs> I'm kind of running out of places to hide them. So instead, I just wrap them all. So I'm going to show the picture of what they are, and then I'll show you just like the, the wrap box, I guess. This little one, it's a Robin figurine. So this little one, it is a Robin toy, like Batman and Robin. He got a Batman play set from his aunt and his grandma for his birthday. So when we go to Walmart, he likes to look at the toys and he saw that there were other characters, not just Batman. And so I wanted to get him the Joker, but they didn't have it in the small same size as his Batman. So instead I got him a little Robin. These two gifts are the exact same. So two years ago, I bought him these glow tracks. It's a whole set, but the cars that came with it at the time are awful. Like they barely even drive and we put brand new batteries in them. They only seem to work with certain batteries. So I got him two new ones, but these ones are rechargeable. So they just plug in with the USB and recharge. So I'm hoping they're better. They seem to have better reviews and then he can actually use his little set again because he loves using it. I don't remember what this is, so I'm not going to tell you about that. But I'll keep it in the back of my mind in case I remember. This is a Lego. He really likes Legos, and now that he's getting a little bit older, he can actually build stuff on his own. So it's like a little submarine, and it has a shark that comes with it. And he loves sharks, so that just worked out perfect. Ugh. This gift, um, this is the most expensive gift that he's getting, and it's actually a train set. It is a Thomas train set. It does like six different tracks, like you can customize them or change them or something. He keeps saying, so he's going to be super excited about this. This is a great Amazon find. It's toy appliances. So there is a blender, a toaster, and I can't remember what the other thing is. I'll post a picture of it because I can't remember what the third thing is, but there's three different like appliances. He has his toy kitchen, as you can see, and he actually loves playing with it, but he's been bothering me for a toy blender as well that he can actually put water in, and you can do that with this one. I think he's going to be super excited. This gift uh, is actually another Amazon find. Elijah loves Sonic. If you know him, he loves to run, and the fact that Sonic runs really fast, he just loves that about him. So this is actually a Sonic light. It's like a LED light and it changes colors and stuff. Third Amazon find is a buildable car. Our son loves vehicles, like construction vehicles, cars, trucks, um, anything with wheels basically. So this will be perfect for him because he not only just likes vehicles, but he also likes to build stuff as well. This is a, oh, it's a police station. So a Lego police station. So it is a knockoff brand, however, we have a house that's the same brand and the Lego works just as good as the normal Lego brand. For the people are kind of like shaped weird, that's the only thing, but he has so many normal Lego people that he doesn't really use the oddly shaped ones. So this was actually on sale, which I couldn't turn that down. So if you notice, I grabbed all those gifts from under the tree. And then we also will have some gifts from Santa. However, the gifts from Santa aren't like super expensive gifts. So the first thing is actually from Dollarama, which is like the dollar store in Canada. And it is a Spider-Man picture. So it just hangs up on the wall. Um, it's a bit thicker. He's starting to get more into superheroes. The next thing I'm getting him, and I only got it because it was on sale, it is a Play-Doh set. It makes popcorn. The other one he has makes um, noodles and like just different food. And then this one makes popcorn and it kind of goes along with his kitchen because he likes making food and he likes using Play-Doh as well to make his fake food. I picked this up from Dollarama as well. It's just a little Merry Christmas um, activity thing. I got him one before for Easter and it just has like a coloring book, some stickers and I think there's like pencils or crayons in here maybe. But yeah, that's another thing I'll give them from Santa. And the last thing as well from Dollarama is, it's like knockoff Jenga. <laughs> but it's good because it has numbers on it. 
So he's learning his numbers with school, which I thought this would be perfect because he knows how to count up to 50, but I don't know if he actually recognizes if he saw what the number 34 was. If he could see, oh, a three and a four makes 34. So I thought this would just be good for him to help learn his numbers and it'd also just be fun for like family game nights. And now for the last gift that I'm gonna show you guys, it's the one that I got for Tuan. It is wrapped, but I will post the pictures of it here. It is actually a clock. So Tuan in the basement has his man cave and I thought this would be perfect to go in there. It's a bunch of like mini sneakers and the sneakers are about this big and they actually have real laces. Um, they've been hand painted and they look really cool. So I was excited about this. I told him early and he got excited of it. Like as soon as it came in the mail, he wanted me to send pictures of it. <laughs> but I told him I'm wrapping it anyways because it still is a gift. But I actually saw it on Facebook. It like popped up. You know how there's Facebook ads and I, I know you're not supposed to buy anything from Facebook ads, but I did a lot of research and I looked up the company that it was coming from and other people had posted that they'd actually gotten the clock. It did show up and it looks awesome, you guys. I'm super excited. It's gonna look so good down there. They did have another version where it was just Jordan, I think 11s or maybe it's 1s. No, I think it's 11s. I don't know, I'm not a sneaker person. But this one comes with a bunch of different versions, like from Jordan 1s to Jordan 11s, I think. Whereas the other clock was just all of the one shoe and it was different colors. That is it for the video. If you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button. I'm uploading a video every second day, just until December 24th for Vlogmas, and then I'll be back to posting once a week, every single Friday. If you haven't bought in all your presents yet, I hope I gave you a few ideas on things that you can buy for a five-year-old. Thanks for watching. I will see you in two days. Bye.